Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Yo, what is good, JI Squad, and welcome back to yet again another banger video, man. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another vlog for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, and the fact that we are currently in Vader right now, um, we do got a little in car vlog for you guys, um, and we got a very interesting topic, man. So Ford just released, or the pictures got leaked, whatever. The world as we know it, the public, you feel me, just got the first glimpse of the new Ford Mustang, or should I say Chevy Mustang. You feel me? And I'ma keep it a buck, I'ma keep it a bing, man. From the little snippets that we got, I'ma go ahead and put the pictures up on the screen. Yeah, ain't shit sweet, ain't shit funny Look, it's blue tits on my hundreds Life been going how I want it, yeah Life been lit just how I want it, yeah, yeah Now she talking like she want me, yeah, ayy Wave Those of you who haven't seen the pictures or maybe you're, you know Like I said, haven't seen the pictures and haven't seen any thing on your timeline about Ford and the new Mustang um, but yeah man just straight off the rip a couple things um, <laughs> that as a Camaro owner you feel me I, I wouldn't say rub me the wrong way but like was just super obvious to me number one is the little vent that they got in the hood all of a sudden Look, life and lit just how I want it Does that not look <laughs> Crazy similar to The same vent that the 6.5 Camaro's got Fuck, I look like stressing mm, Interesting Then, okay, let's say, you know, that's not Big enough of a deal to break the deal for you okay cool let's talk about this rear end this quarter panel section I be low in my section Built like a bitch. how about we do that <laughs> bro like it legitimately looks like a Camaro bro like I'm sorry I'm gonna be the one to say it I'm gonna run in this store real quick and grab some new chocolates some new slides you dig cuz mine's is out of there so give me one second I'll be right back all right, y'all, so, you know what I'm saying? Slide secured. I'm gonna just grab some Adidas joints. Um, I ain't gonna lie, if you guys are like me, and y'all, you know what I'm saying, got like a hooping background type, you feel me? You already know Nike slides was definitely the move. Early, early 2000s, man, but my boy, I know y'all know about them issues having them slides on your feet man either a the strap will rip off or b you know what i'm saying you mess around leave them in the car and then they shrink on you c you feel me you might mess around put a hole in the bottom of the sole or something but it is what it is man vader going crazy right now because i got some 93 in them right now so he having the time of his life but anyway um back to this mustang thing so now along with you know the exterior changes they also came out with a completely refreshed interior as well um and i will say the interior actually does look pleasing it's aesthetically pleasing for sure um it type gives me G-Wagon vibes, bro. I'm not gonna lie with how the entire like interface, um, the cluster, 
the media center, everything is like one big old screen. I ain't gonna lie, that's low key hard. I'll give Ford that for sure. That digital dash definitely hitting different. Like, don't get me wrong, Chevy did its thing with this joint and that joint, you feel me? But the simple fact that Ford has the full legitimate digital joint. They take the cake in that in that line every time for sure. I can't lie. Now, one more thing that Ford introduced or is introducing with this new Mustang is the 5.0 hybrid that comes in all-wheel drive. Now that right there, I personally feel like is going to be very very interesting. Not only because of the fact that it's a, you know what I'm saying, a hybrid that's a V8, but the fact that it's an all-wheel drive Mustang is very, very interesting to me. Um, as you guys know, man, I've actually owned a Mustang before. Before I had this car, I had a six-speed manual uh, 2017 Mustang GT. It was a base model joint, so I had like the cloth seats. Literally the only like thing that I had that, you know, I guess was like an upgrade or whatever you wanna call it, which is really not even an upgrade, was the fact that I had it in a manual. I had the MT82 transmission, six speed, like I just said. Um, so coming from that car um, and going to this car, one of my biggest things about being inside of that car was the interior bro like the interior on uh, mustangs i feel like personally if you don't get a premium and you get a base model complete shit like complete trash as far as build quality as far as aesthetics as far as the seats comfortability like just in general the interiors on mustangs get out of here you feel me like, and then from going to that car to hopping into this car, being a one elite packaged car, coming with the Recaros, having the digital cluster, as you guys just seen, the, you know, eight inch display, Alcantara on literally everything that your hands touch for driving, gear selector, steering wheel. It's, it's a huge, a huge plus for sure. So seeing them actually listening to their people and, you know, paying attention to the interior, which I feel like they never did until they came out with the premiums, I, I give Ford an applaud for that, for sure. Now, in general, in general, all around, I really want to see what these all-wheel drive 5.0s is going to do, for real. You know what I'm saying? We all know, being in the car community, everybody clowns Mustangs because the drivers always crash them. You know what I'm saying? That rear end gets confused or, <laughs> or whatever the fuck happens with that independent suspension. And it just, you know, y'all seen it. <laughs> y'all seen it, you feel me? So it ain't even really much I got to say on that aspect. So that's why I'm really interested to see how these cars do with all-wheel drive man because y'all gotta remember bro like yeah i love chevy yeah i'm a camaro guy but at the end of the day the coyote that car is a top end car you feel me that car is a car that likes to be in the higher rpms if i'm not mistaken coyotes rev out to about eight grand bro so Let's just go ahead and factor in everything at once before I wrap this video up. Bro, all-wheel drive, 10-speed automatic transmission, paired with the 5.0 Coyote that revs out to eight grand. That joint's gonna be a monster for sure. You feel me? If Ford can get it right, you feel me? With this being the first of its kind, if Ford can get that technology down packed, bro, yeah, that's gonna be interesting for sure. So I'm, um, as a car guy, as a genuine car guy, I'm actually 
excited to see what these all-wheel drive 5.0s do for real. Um, and they're keeping the manual. That's another big thing. Um, you feel me? As far as the car community goes, is the simple fact that you know everything's going 10 speed. Everything's going automatic. Everything's going electronic. Uh, you feel me? We're not. We're not seeing too many combustion engines being made uh, in these newer vehicles. As y'all know, Chevy's gone electric with the Cam well, the, the Camaro being discontinued and the Corvette's coming out uh, soon, the E-Ray. It's, it's not looking too good for the combustion engine, man. Even Mopar is done making Hellcats and V8-powered cars, bro. So it's like, yeah. The fact that Ford decided, okay, not only are we going to keep the manual, not only are we going to keep the V8, but we're going to add all-wheel drive to it and make it a hybrid. Now, as far as the hybrid part, I feel like that's where those cars are going to fall on their face. I really do. But I guess all we can do is wait out and and wait for these cars to come out, wait for these uh, YouTubers to grab them, people that we know to get them, and just see these honest reviews, man. That's really all we can do. But, yeah, man, I thought I'd just go ahead and, you know, kind of share my opinion on the car. Overall, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm still on the fence. The car, that's one of the beauties of, you know, cars being revealed through like just a couple of pictures versus seeing the car in person seeing the car out in the wild modified you know what i mean like there was a lot of cars that came out and i was on the fence about them just from seeing the pictures but once seeing the car in real life and actually on the road and actually driving it's like oh well you know that car is not actually that bad oh Okay, so you know, you can throw some side skirts on there, a front lip and a diffuser, and kind of pop that exterior a little bit. So, you know, you never really know until you actually see the car in person, man. So, as of right now, I'm not gonna say that the new Mustang is a bust. I'm not gonna say that. Um, I just feel like we can't, honestly. And anybody who does, I feel like, bro, it's either A, you're biased as hell, or B, you just don't like Mustangs, which, you know, would make you biased still. But, yeah, bro, because we haven't seen the actual car in person, I can't say that it's a bust. It's just I felt like I definitely needed to make a video because I seen way, <laughs> way too many similarities with the six gens, bro. So I just thought that, that was crazy how Chevy decides, okay, we're gonna be stupid and we're gonna discontinue the Camaros again. And Ford decides, oh, they're gonna discontinue the Camaro, which has been our biggest competitor since day one. Okay, bet. Let's go ahead and take some of the features that the Camaro has and throw it on our new Mustang and see if we can get some of those Camaro, Camaro customers to come over and, you know, buy some Mustangs. So I just found that honestly hysterical <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so i just thought let me just make a video real quick talking about it and obviously and honestly i'm curious to see what you guys think about it as well so with that being said man go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this new mustang man do you guys see the similarities to the sixth gen that i see that i talked about in this video what do you guys think about the fact that the car is going to be a hybrid well they're offering a hybrid 5.0 that's all wheel drive y'all let me know in the comment section down below are you guys still on the fence about it are y'all like want me and want to see the car before you judge it or are you one and done seeing the pictures and that was enough for you you're not rocking with it or you're rocking with it y'all let me know down in the comment section down below but without further ado that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications like i said leave a comment man give this video a thumbs up i'm gonna go ahead and end it here man if you're new appreciate you for tuning in man if you watch the video all the way to this point i appreciate you for sticking it out through the end thank you so much but that's gonna wrap it up for this one let's go ahead and roll that outro i'll see y'all in the next one peace